hold on. <laughs> Capricorn, <laughs> what's up? So what is up with this energy that I'm picking up on? And I'm like, is somebody in a fantasy land talking about some uh, my love? Do you ever dream of candy coated rainbows? <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, have you ever loved someone so much you thought you'd de die, giving so much of yourself? Oh, okay, maybe this person wasn't in no fantasy land. Maybe that's how they feel. It. You might want to listen to that song. But uh, <laughs> Capricorn, welcome to my channel. I'm going to go ahead and build up this foundation of your relationships. Grab two tarot decks, one for you, one for your person, and see what energy you guys are in at this time. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this reading. Beloved, what's in the energy of Capricorn and their person? What's at this foundation of this relationship, please? <coughs> Excuse me. Still trying to get over this cold. Ooh. Transformation. There was an ending. Somebody was being fake as hell, wearing a mask, wasn't being honest, wasn't being authentic. Act like they was a... um. Act like they was in a cocoon <laughs> in the shell. You could have been dealing with a cancer, Capricorn, or something like that. But I see um, whatever this was kind of came to an end. And freedom with the freedom card. Definitely. Damn, who feeling free like that? Somebody feeling free as a bird. Huh. So, there was some temptation here with this food card. I don't know who it was that got tempted in this relationship. But that temptation is what caused this weather natural event. Okay. What else? Possession. <laughs> okay. Another uh, zodiac sign had this card. And I got something different with them. But why with this energy do I get like a spirit possession? Like someone... Someone being like, oh no, they 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 ain't like you. <laughs> <laughs> they not like you, Capricorn. They not they not from the same spirit realm as you, the same group as you. They different. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's go ahead. What else? What else is going on with Capricorn and they person? What's uh? What's creeping up from this foundation? What's what's happening? <laughs> Thank you so much, beloved. Alrighty, so oh oh well that'll do it. That'll do it every time. That'll bring a relationship to an end real real quick. That open relationship. This person kind of been messing with somebody from their past, a kid's mom or something like that. I'm hearing a whole lot of drama and bullshit in the house. Mm-hmm. Long distance. Dang. And uh, what else? The fair male. This, this is the person that ain't cut like you. This person right here is falling on this tower and this um, um, possession. This person from a... Uh, <laughs> they ain't like you. Okay? If you're watching this here reading, whoever is the opposite person. Fair male, fair female. They ain't like you. Okay? So let's see. What's underneath the surface of this relationship, please? What's underneath the surface? Because, yeah, somebody, you know, why be in a relationship if it's going to be open? Won't your ass just be single? You know, go ahead, be single, hang out in the clubs, hang out in the bars, you know, do things that single people do. Enjoy your life. Don't drag nobody uh, that's in a relationship with you through it because you want to be single. Just go ahead and take your ass home. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, well, I guess that'll do it. The ace of water. Nobody want to be single when they in love. They want to be with that person. But it still ended. With this release, it still ended. And somebody got their cards up. And they got the nerves to be this person on their possession. That was keeping all the damn secrets with this moon card. Let's see. 
What's on the surface of this relationship with Capricorn and their person? What's on the surface? My love. Do you ever dream of candy coated rainbows? What? See, that's what I'm talking about. What energy is that? You trying to gaslight me? You trying to um manipulate me or something? Why are you talking about some fantasy world stuff? So you, this person had you living in a fantasy or something, Cap. So gratitude. Someone didn't appreciate this relationship and priorities. They put they self first. That's what I'm getting outside of this commitment. Like I said, somebody wants to be in a single energy and a whole relationship. <laughs> That's crazy. Alrighty, so what's crowning this reading? What's crowning this reading? And why is there so much drama that I'm picking up? Why is there so much drama in this relationship, Capricorn? I know you come up as El Diablo, let's not forget. But, um, why is there so much drama? I mean, I'm picking it up heavy. Like, damn. Mm. Dang, everybody getting this card. Hopeful. Everybody getting this card. Crown of the reading. So, I don't know if it's because Beloved is looking at it like these are the seeds that were planted. And this is why Hopeful keeps crowning the readings. But um, somebody here is still hopeful about this relationship. So let's see here. What cards do I want to use for you? What cards do I want to use for your person? Okay, so I'm feeling like using these for your person. And um, let's go ahead and use these for you. All right, beloved. So what's going on with Capricorn? How's Capricorn feeling about their person at this time? This fair male, fair female? Oh, Capricorn, I'm picking it up. This a fine person, though. Ooh, you attracted to this person with a toxic ass. <laughs> Let's see. What's going on with Capricorn? With their person. How's they feeling about this person, please? Thank you. <laughs> war, war out. You got the uh, four swords. You chilling. <laughs> this person wore your ass. <laughs> Ew, you taking a break from that drama? I need to stop laughing at these ratings. I promise you, because I know the cross watchers like, Black Madonna HP, that shit ain't funny. You mm. know? But... I can't help it. Got a sense of humor, so. Alrighty. So what's going on with Capricorn's person? How do they feel about Capricorn, please? Alrighty. <laughs> la 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 like Ezel and Friday. La la. <laughs> they don't care. They coming back towards your ass. Let's see. They got the tower. They got the six of cups. They have the hierophant. They have the king of cups. They have you, the devil. And they have... <laughs> they had the ace of cups. They ain't going no damn where, Capricorn. Let's see what you got. You got the page of wands. Temperance, the Emperor, the Eight of Swords, the Moon, and the Seven of Wands. Y'all funny. <laughs> you and your person, y'all funny, Capricorn. Okay. That's who I want to talk about first. Okay, let's talk about your person. Okay, it's always a good place to start. So this person had a, a damn epiphany. Oh, they had an epiphany about who you were to them and what you mean to them. Like, um, they finally see clear now. Like, I think this person was living in the fantasy world with that damn candy of rain um, song. Like, 
Do why would you be asking a person? Do they ever dream of candy coated rainbows? Like, what world are you in? Like I said, this person's cut a little different, cat. But um, they're starting to see exactly what you mean to them, and this person loves the shit out of you. Like whatever happened, whatever this tower was, whatever this epiphany moment was, whatever happened changed their whole perspective of their path of life. Like now they are seeing like, damn, I got exactly what I want and need. And I'm finna let Capricorn go? I don't think so. And look at how you is, Capricorn. Oh my God. Feeling trapped. Let me out. This person ain't letting you out of their heart. Are you crazy? With this, look at this Ace of Cup. Mm -mm, you ain't going nowhere. I actually like this Ace of Cup. It's actually a beautiful depiction. One of the most beautiful I've seen for the Ace of Cups. But, um, so, you know, you over here, Capricorn, you, your energy is peculiar. And I'm going to tell you why. With this temperance card, you know, this. She she has two cups in her hand. Of course, she's pouring them out, right? But the energy that I'm picking up at, for you as you choose which position you want to play on different days. Some days you want to play this page of wands with this person. Some days you want to play the emperor with this person. And this could be. Like causing you confusion because you like them, like I, I, you know, I don't know if you even still love this person or why you do this to yourself. It's almost like a self sabotaging energy because some days you want to talk to them, be cool, hey, what's up, or you know, whatever. But some days you ain't messing with them at all, and you standing on your shit like. Mm -mm. <laughs> Like, even if you, I mean, this is where those that's in communication with your person. If you're not in, in communication with your person, you already know what's up. But um, for those of you that still communicate with this person, you, you're a little fickle when it comes to them. Some days you cool. They, this is probably why they have an epiphany because they ain't never seen you like this before. But I feel like this energy is coming from the love that you have had for them and the way that in some way they hurt you or betrayed you or treated you or something but usually you know you you probably just in your emperor's energy cap you know i have to say capricorns are bosses you know usually i know it's an aries card but capricorns i mean y'all can show up as ldl <laughs> what i'm just saying capricorns are not your born bosses so I expect to see a cap in the emperor's energy, you know, but coming up as this page energy. Eh, so you go back and forth how you want to deal with this person. And it's primarily because, you know, you can't get over what this person done to you, said to you, the way things went. I feel like you ain't over the drama. I feel like whatever you and this person went through you ain't for guys shit because this is what this person probably brought up about you with all that drama like oh you want to play rough okay let's play rough like but whatever you over there doing cap one thing is for damn sure you still send your energy that person way like you might Ha to them like have your back turned on them but you still send your energy that w their way and you know how you're doing it through your thoughts and stuff like that let's see here i'm just curious to know what's under this food call it's just getting me oh the two of pentacles the star and the empress oh they trying to find their way back to you capricorn this person ain't going nowhere this hermit yeah, they in research mode with this Ace of Swords, King of Swords. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Because they feel left out. They definitely want you. They ain't going nowhere. That's all I can tell you. This person ain't going nowhere, Capricorn. Let's see. What else does... Oh, I don't want to use these ones. What else does Capricorn need to know about their person, please? What else does Cap need to know about their person, please? 
What else does Capricorn need to know about their person, please? <laughs> I don't know why I'm here in Inspector Gadget. So this person got to be watching you or something. <sighs> so they got the two of pentacles. The emperor. The four of cups. The king of swords. And the four of wands. How the hell am I going to get back to Capricorn? The emperor has rose from their seat and they are on their way. They is trying to figure this uh, way out. They've been sitting under this tree for a little bit. And the only cup that they're drinking from right now is you. Okay. They have other offers, other opportunities, but they is focused on you right now, Cap. They is ready to get uh, come to you and speak up and be a real about they shit. Take ac accountability because you is who they want. And you know this, Cap. Okay. How's this person feeling about Capricorn, please? How's this person feeling about Capricorn, please? Oh, my goodness. Uh, let's see what fell discouraged how's this person feeling about capricorn please dang these are specific dang what's this one disappointed i'm gonna take that one all right so um oh 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 capricorn <laughs> a big ass baby <laughs> They is feeling disappointed as all outdoors, Capricorn. Because they long for you so bad. And I mean, real bad. Like, they so frustrated with themselves right now. Like, what the hell was I thinking? Okay? And this is the biggest all. Oh, they feel unfulfilled without you. Lost without you. Wanting you. Needing you. I mean... You could be dealing with the Sagittarius because I just gave Sag the same spill. Some of these people, I guess, are missing the hell out of the people they did wrong <laughs> during the COVID, <laughs> during the winter time. You know. <laughs> Let's see what's the message you got for Capricorn. Let me go ahead and close this reading out. What's the message you have for Cat, please? Thank you. That's right, beloved. Self-love. Today, I love myself fully. I sum myself exactly as I am. I'm able to recognize my own divinity and to appreciate the purity of my soul. I take the time to care for myself. I enjoy myself. I nourish myself. I am kind to myself. I am grateful for who I am. Capricorn, why do you need positive affirmations? Why does beloved feel like you need positive affirmations to love yourself? This is this is this bothers me because I know you were in this eight of swords energy, but I didn't know that it was that bad. But Capricorn, whatever's going on, whatever whatever emotions you're experiencing to make you feel this way, beloved, maybe you do need to do um um some um affirmations you can you know what i recommend is listen to eckhart tolle right listen to eckhart tolle or even if you're not christian listen to that uh td jake's um sermon where he talks about um when people can walk away from you let them walk um and then also like just just doing some meditation, some mindfulness, just being in the moment. Try not to let the situation with this person get to you because, man, I know what um, relationships can do. And sometimes, yeah. But either way, Cap, that's the message I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.